Yellowstone update. When the sleeping giant wakes. Past volcanic eruptions in Yellowstone National Park have been global disasters. Now, scientists are trying to predict how this time bomb will explode or go out. The sleeping giant lies in the western United States. Although it stirs occasionally, it hasn't awakened from its slumber for nearly 70,000 years. But when it finally awakens, it may roar and move with unprecedented force. This giant is a super volcano located beneath Yellowstone National Park, a nature preserve and forest that spans a vast expanse stretching through the states of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. The volcano itself is actually located in northwestern Wyoming, which is where most of Yellowstone is located. The ground above the Yellowstone supervolcano sits on a hot spot made of molten and semi-molten rock called magma. As magma enters a magma chamber or reservoir located about 6 to 10 kilometers, 4 to 6 miles beneath the park, the ground swells. As the magma begins to solidify and cool, the ground falls. Volcanologists, who have been measuring this activity since 1923, say the ground rose about 25 centimeters, 9.8 inches, between 2004 and 2009. However, in 2010, the ground began to sink. This period of slow, steady rise has many scientists wondering if Yellowstone will erupt anytime soon. And if it does, there are concerns about how large the eruption will be. The big question is, if Yellowstone started shaking tomorrow, what would happen, said Dr. Steve Anderson, a volcanologist and professor of earth sciences at the University of Northern Colorado. I don't think we know exactly what would happen. While scientists may not know exactly what will happen, they have an idea, and most say it's unlikely to be the end of the world.
Over the past decade, the volcano has been rising at the fastest rate ever recorded. Yellowstone also experiences an average of between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes a year. Most are barely noticeable, with magnitudes of three or less. However, these earthquakes give scientists insight into how quickly the magma chamber beneath the park is filling. The increase in shaking and rumbling throughout the park may indicate a new batch of magma has recently been introduced into the reservoir. Even with the increase in earthquakes, scientists don't think the rumblings in the magma chamber pose an imminent threat. However, this is because humans haven't been around to fully analyze everything that's happening at Yellowstone. Currently, Yellowstone is dormant, with scientists monitoring its every hiccup or cough to predict its next move. Although the forces generated beneath the national park have persisted for thousands of years, Yellowstone's dormancy doesn't mean it won't awaken someday. The question remains, when and with what force? <laughs> 